Let's talk about using keyboard shortcuts in Note Flight Learn. I know a lot of uh, more advanced composers, when you get used to these, you really like your keyboard shortcut. So I want to show you a quick feature that's super helpful, is that I mentioned before, as you hover in the palettes, if there is a shortcut available, notice that the shortcut is shown. So sharp is the plus sign, flat is the minus sign. I really encourage you and your students to get used to using shortcuts, because that is the most effective way of moving quickly when editing in note flight. Now, you'll notice not every Every feature has a shortcut, right? So there are actually options to do keyboard shortcuts. So in the edit menu, look at keyboard shortcuts. NoteFlight has an entire option for you to create your own keyboard shortcuts for anything that does not have them. And it looks like I've already tried to do some in here that hasn't been used. So let me try, let me delete this. So I'll show you how this works. So you could also use the keyboard shortcut options to see where the shortcuts are. So let's say I wanted to make a shortcut for transpose. Now I'm gonna say T, oops, I actually hit a cap, caps lock, I don't wanna do that. Let's hit T and see what happens. Uh-oh, it's already used. This is a cool thing because you might, so notice NoFlight's gonna say, hey, T is already text, try again. So you can say, okay, well, let me try Shift T. Shift T is available. So now I can make Shift T my shortcut. I hit OK, I select all, I hit Shift T, and my transposition menu will come up, right? Well, it should come up. Oops, I gotta select it. How do you use Note Flight? Do I even know? Right? And well, I'll go back in here and show. So that will actually come up. I don't know if I hit done, actually. I think that was user error. That was definitely user error because I didn't actually finish it. So now let's see if it did at that time. Trying to move too fast. Okay, so now um, pitch uh, shift T is in there. We all see it. Let's see if we can do this again. Select all shift T. There it is. I know how to use it now. Who's given this demo? There's my transpose menu. So you can add all of your shortcuts. Now the next question is, well, how do I remember all my shortcuts? Well, check it out. There's a cool article here. So if you go to the support center, it shows how to use keyboard shortcuts. There is a downloadable guide that we've given on all the shortcuts. And I have this pulled up for you to see. We have it for Mac or um, Windows computers. So this is an Excel sheet. It's also available as a PDF. Here's all the characters available. And here's all the various combinations, right? Because you have it. Is, once you see this, it all makes sense. There's a you know, like C is used for the note C, but you can hit Shift C, Option C, Shift and Option C, Shift Command C, Option Command C, Shift Option Command C. So this is pre-filled with what shortcuts NoteFlight already uses. And if you decide to say, oh, I'd like to make Option K to do something, you can say, you know what, you can just use this and you can print off your own Excel file, right? So we give you these completely downloadable so you can customize your own shortcuts however you want. Um, I'm not gonna save this. So that is using keyboard shortcuts in the NoteFlight editor.